wait, wait, wait. <sighs> it's coffee with Mr. Karsten this morning. We're on the road. I got my to-go cup. We toured the building last week and we talked about our music department and today we're gonna meet our art teachers. Talk about our K through 12 art. One more reason to, to consider LSA and to enroll your child is our fine art department. I wanna remind everybody that between now and February 15th, we're still doing these student drawings. Bring your family over, take a tour of our building, and new kindergarten families are entered into a K through eight tuition free drawing. One more reason to consider LSA, we talk about academics, we talk about sports, we talk about the Christian atmosphere as the most important thing. Today we're gonna to talk about our fine arts. So come with me, coffee with Mr. Karsten this morning, and we're gonna meet Mr. Growth and Mr. Fote, which are our K through 12 art teachers, come on. I have with me today, Mr. Tim Fote and Mr. Justin Growth, and uh, good morning to both of you guys. Thanks for taking the time to be on Coffee with Mr. Karsten. Good morning. Good morning. So, so I wanted to talk about a couple of things, and, and I think the first thing is I, I want our, our listeners that are listening in today, uh, we, we talk about the blessing of the art program, one, one of the true enhancements that continues to get better and better, uh, another reason to come and, and enroll their students at LSA. So I want them to know who, who delivers this product. Let's start with you, Tim. Um, well, I'm into my fourth year at LSA, and it's been uh, quite a journey, a lot of fun. Um, I came here right out of college, going to Concordia, Chicago, and it's, uh, the, it's so exciting to see what has happened and turned over the last four years. Uh, just the growth that has happened and um, bringing on another teacher within the school and just the, the dedication that we can put into each grade level for the art program has been wonderful. So you, you graduated with that art degree from Concordia yeah. and now four years of experience has made you uh, uh, really, really a blessing to the mm -hmm. school. And, and Justin, tell, tell us a little bit about you then too. Um, so I, I uh, went to Concordia, Nebraska, where I got my art education degree as well. And uh, I spent a lot of time at Concordia just doing lots and lots of art, but mostly ceramics, which is where my passion is. And uh, I always knew I wanted to teach in high school, um, although I didn't know what I wanted to teach. And then my senior year, I took a tour at Concordia. And after going about an hour in the art building, I thought, this is what I want to do. <laughs> and uh, my goal is to kind of bring that passion in every day to just the art classroom and then hopefully instill that in my students as well. Um, I mean, I, I have a great passion for art and I love uh, working one-on-one -on -one with the students and uh, it was a couple of years ago, this is my second year, that uh, I got a call from um, Tim and uh, his roommate and they said they were looking for uh, an art teacher and it just, you know, kind of worked out and it's been a great blessing since. So it is a blessing uh, to have both of you here. A K through 12 art program is in place here and an art department. You know, it's not just one art teacher that, that for so many years, you know, we were blessed with just one art teacher in, in Miss Sablotny. But you guys have taken it to the next level. And so the interaction that you guys have with each other, the collaboration, you know, the, the alignment that we talk about, an intentional grade level tasks and duties and, and, and alignment, literally, that starts with kindergarten and first grade and literally walks us up through some high level math. Well, in kindergarten, I touch base with the teachers and they, they keep art within their classroom. And then starting in first grade, when they're a little bit taller, they're able to uh, fit on these tables a little better. And they're here, uh, first through fifth grade is here once a week for about 45 minutes. And uh, we structure that program a lot with just talking about a famous artist, um, some elements of art, principles of design, and uh, a little bit of art history mixed in. Uh, myself and Mr. Growth will both talk about how we are firm believers in, uh, it's called DBAE, which stands for Discipline-Based Art Education. And it, it's made up of four components. Many times, art teachers will know that uh, part of the art process is the art production. And that's one of the four parts. There's also art criticism, art aesthetics, and art history. So in first through fifth grade, we do a lot of just art production, hands-on, a little bit of art history. Um, moving into the middle school, uh, the students are here almost every day for about a semester. 
and uh, it gives them uh, building blocks for them to come ev in every day and not have to reteach stuff all the time and uh, really dive deep in the subject area. And we're able to talk more about art aesthetics and art criticism and uh, well-rounded uh, art program all together to prepare them for what they have ahead for their high school program. And it sounds like the, the two of you talk about these things. It's, mm -hmm. it's not just K-8 doing one thing and then, oh, okay, well, I guess high school will start doing this. There is a real collaboration. So are these, well, I'll put you on the spot, Justin, are they, are they ready then when they graduate our eighth grade? Uh, has Tim done a great job of, of getting them ready? And I know already the answer to that. Uh, Tim's done a wonderful job Absolutely. so far. Absolutely. And, uh, so so they, they do certain things down there, and then they're ready. They're ready. They've learned certain things. We've, we've said make sure that they have learned this or that. And then as they come into high school, what, what kind of becomes the next four years? Uh, they don't have to take art but sometimes uh, they look forward to, to taking four years of art and everything in between. So graduation requirement versus, I can't wait to take four more years of art in this program. Um, tell us what, what, what kind of our focus is when we, when the, when we get to the high school level. Uh, well, the focus, um, like Tim said, is a discipline-based, um, but beginning really more with drawing. Um, I was taught, and I'm a firm believer that uh, drawing is just the building block foundation of all art. If you can make and see line two or three dimensional, um, it's going to aid everything that you do. So focusing a lot of that in the first year, and then building up from there. Um, you know, whether it's and then doing a few more other projects like uh, some sculpture and some ceramic things um, to keep them engaged, and then just uh, building off the art history criticism. Um, you know, a little bit of the theory every now and then. And then kind of even starting to give them a little bit more like voice and choice within the product, uh, projects um, so that they kind of get a little bit more engaged with the processes where uh, my goals are. Um, I think that what Mr. Foe has been doing in uh, the elementary has been paying uh, huge dividends as I see, especially with my art one this year. Uh, the students are coming in and you know they, they kind of understand a lot of the, the, the different processes and they understand you know, the different sort of words and terms and so I don't have to spend as much time teaching all these small things but we can start moving into you know more uh, um, interesting concepts and uh, uh, better projects. Another way to say that we continue to align the, the mm -hmm. K through 12 art program mm -hmm. which we're doing in so many other curricular areas too and we take this just as seriously. So they come in here they understand art they they do their their projects and, and their their masterpieces, right? Yeah. How did what tell tell the us next? What do we do with the student artwork? I know we do some things in the building, and then I I understand and because I've had a chance to go to some of the art shows, we're we're outside of this building with our art students too. So so um, how how do I as a parent and the community get an opportunity to see this this finished artwork. <laughs> um, well, in the elementary program, I believe strongly in just presenting the pieces and letting the kids really value their piece when it is on display. That's awesome. So um, I, we rotate in the hallways, always having their displays up. And so when the parents even walk by, the kids can point out their piece and talk about what they learned in class, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then we take it a step further in the community um, First through fifth grade will be on a rotation and we have the artwork displayed at the local public library and uh, it's a great connection and uh, usually the librarian there will place out books about that artist and it, it gets the oh, kids really, really cool. excited to go and check out a book, see their artwork. Um, then in the middle school, uh, we participate with other Decatur area schools in a, a art competition. And we do one at the beginning of the school year and a second one at the end of the school year. So the kids, uh, it's very formal. They get to see their artwork on display and ribbons. And uh, it just it gets them really excited to know it's not just the teacher who's saying, hey, there's something great about your work. It, there's many other individuals who see it. That's got to be a great feeling for our artists, for our students, to, to have the opportunity to see their, their art display. Now, I also, as a parent, as I mentioned, get a, an email, um, some electronic uh, display options. Yes. Tell, tell us yeah. what you do <laughs> even as we use technology in the art department. Yeah, um, also in the elementary we photograph many of their artworks and uh, it's, it's a program called Art Sonia and so every time 
a, uh, we take the photo, that photo gets an automatic email to the parent saying, hey, check out your student's new piece. Uh, sometimes there's a little blurb on what we learned in the art room. And also uh, grandparents, I've had grandparents from Texas email me saying, hey, I just saw what little Johnny did, and that's wonderful. And so uh, everyone can collaborate, and it's also great to see their progress from year to year and see, oh, he made this in first grade, second grade. So it's a whole online portfolio. So those, those examples are amazing. We also display some things in the high school level. Uh, how, do, how do you take the high school artwork and, and put it on display? Uh, well, what we've done this year, uh, one, we put uh, some artworks up in the high school um, hallway. Uh, it's limited space, and so we're const I'm constantly looking for new ideas, and uh, we're building up that sort of idea. But uh, there's a nice wall space where you, we can hang some two-dimensional work, and uh, I think the students took a lot of value in that. And um, it's fun to seeing them say to their friends and uh, whoever it may be that it's like, oh, yeah, this one's mine. And their friend's like, oh, that looks cool. You did a right, great job. Yeah. Um, so they get a lot of value out of that. Uh, there's a couple, a few different art competitions, and I'm always getting things coming across my desk about uh, things. And one in the spring uh, that we do at the Art Council, and then this past fall did one in uh, at UIS um, Springfield at our University of Illinois Springfield. Okay. Um, had a few different students participate in that competition, um, so we're building that up, uh, displaying. Um, did a, a kind of a large sort of installation piece last year too with the students that they all took a lot of value in in the atrium and. Uh, that was a lot. That was really neat, and I think they took a lot of value out of that as well. Yeah, I, I want to take this time to thank both of you, not not just for the teaching and the and the, the department collaboration that you guys bring together. I mean, I know you, you you have such a passion for the art, but it takes extra time and it takes extra work to do those displays and to research those contests and to get the artwork over to these different places uh, to photograph it and put it online that's noticed and if the kids don't tell you and the parents don't tell you I, I'm telling you today on behalf of all of them and myself uh, thank you for taking even that extra that extra step that extra time uh, you guys are such a blessing to this art program I'm going to continue to talk uh, on this coffee with Mr. Karsten about why should students think that LSA is the place uh, to, to get their education and without a doubt, the fine arts, we talked last coffee with Mr. Carson about the music, and now today we talk about the art. Our fine arts department is really a, an amazing piece of why uh, a great and quality education is taking place here at LSA, and you guys are a big part of that, so thank you. And thanks for being on today, Coffee with thank Mr. You. Carson. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys. Thanks. Thank you. You know, one of those things that Justin mentioned was his passion for ceramics. And y when you come in to tour the LSA, you'll see both of our art rooms, and you'll see that one particular part gets into the ceramics. So come with me. You look at uh, our ceramics room, and we have student art uh, being done on the, on the uh, pottery wheels, so, so they're clay productions. And then we have our own uh, kiln here in the building so that we get uh, some of those ceramic displays fired up and, and uh, as, as Justin takes especially our upper level uh, high school students into the art program and into the ceramics part, uh, you, you can't do those things unless you have a, just a great facility and we're very blessed here at LSA with this ceramics department. One of the biggest enhancements has been the fine arts department here at LSA and, and specifically the art. And one of the newest additions to our facility has been a second art room. And with the growth of the high school, we've needed a, a whole entire art room that's just devoted to the high school. So as we look at uh, the high school art room uh, where Mr. Growth does his art instruction, uh, a, a room just devoted to uh, what could be four years of, of uh, intentional art instruction, starting with Art One with our freshmen and uh, some of our seniors go into uh, their, their whole portfolio art. So we're able, again, to, to point out the facility has a lot to do with what we are able to offer in the art department. We've 
heard about how our art teachers take the student art and put it on display. If you come over to 2001 East Mountain Road and take a tour of our building, you're going to see artwork throughout the building that's actually on the walls. Our students and our, our faculty teachers over the course of many, many years have done murals. So one hallway will have the Noah's Ark theme and you'll see the animals and the ark and, and the, the, that Bible story that, that is in art display on the, on the walls. You'll see the, the brick wall where God knows our name. You'll see the, the, the hand prints of one year every student and, and faculty put their handprint on and it reminded us that Jesus took nails in, in the on the cross in his hands and showed us that love. So those art displays are just all over this building and um, it, it blesses us and reminds us of the talent that our teachers and our students have had over the years. I want to point out one of these displays that are in our building in particular, and it's all the names of Jesus. If you look at every single one of the, the scriptural names that references to our Lord and Savior, they're all listed on this wall, or many of them are listed on this wall. And you want to talk about the student talent in this building, this was the final project for an upper level art class in our high school. And multiple students participated and each uh, did a, a portion of this and uh, it's just a beautiful mural that, that uh, we see as we walk around the building and uh, just blesses, our, blesses our, uh, our hallways, reminds us of our Lord and Savior and all the many names that are in Scripture that reference Jesus. So we continue on the road as we walk around the building and talk about our, our art displays. In the multi-purpose room here at LSA, this display is a total student display. Students did this one year and what it actually does is it shows Jesus' love for us in the cross and how those branches step out and our love goes out to other people. We've done service projects and outreach projects, chapel offerings that have gone to particular organizations, both locally and around the, the nation. And we raise money, and some of the leaves that you see on this student artwork project name some of those places where we reach out with Jesus' love uh, through our support of, of chapel offerings and uh, outreach programs. So great way to remind our students through artwork what Jesus first did for us and that that love we can also have respond a response to other people and support them and I think one of the neatest things as you see this artwork around the building it's not just beautiful artwork and talented hands and God-given ability we look at the Bible stories and the Bible verses and the messages that come through. It's just a positive part of our atmosphere as a student walks by and says, sing to the Lord a new song or marvelous things he has done. You know, you have a Bible story and a, a lesson that can touch a, a student's heart as they look at the artwork here in the building. One final art piece I want to point out is this ceramic lion and lamb as you walk into the art building. If you look real close, every single one of these little pieces at, at one point was a student art project. They took all these clay art projects and our master craftsman put it together in what you see as the overall display as the lion and the lamb. Uh, students from that year, and this is years ago, can come back and see that individual art project that they made and it be, has become a, a, an overall beautiful art display made out of ceramics. So you get an idea about who's doing our art program, what we're doing in the classroom. You look at our building and there's art everywhere. 
remember what we talked about last week was the fine arts department in our music and this week we've we've given you a, an idea about our art program our fine arts at LSA is one of our strengths and another reason to register your student or consider enrolling your student as uh, a student here at LSA and the next time that we do coffee with Mr. Karsten we're going to get deep into the academics we believe our, our parents are sending students to LSA for a lot of different reasons, but let's get down to it. Yes, it's a Christian school, no, no question about that. Yes, it has the programs that we've also talked about, but we're here to educate children. And so we're gonna, we're gonna visit both our K through eight end of the building and then our high school end of the building. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the academics, the K through 12 academics that are at LSA that are grade level preparing and college preparing for our students. Join us next time for Coffee with Mr. Carson. And again, one more time, don't forget, January 28th is our kindergarten night. January 28th, new kindergarten families for next year can still tour our building, can register on January 28th, can meet our teachers. So kindergarten night and our tuition free drawing for those kindergarten families that are considering LSA for next year. It's been Coffee with Mr. Karsten, the Fine Arts Department today, and as always, we're so blessed here at LSA. We always end Coffee with Mr. Karsten by talking about where all our blessings come from. To God be the glory.